In this video, I'm going to show you how to use one of your UC compatible cameras on Blue Iris. I already have a camera here added to my UC software. You can see its IP address is 107 on my network. And if I go into remote config using this UC software, I can see that I set its encoding resolution to be 3 megapixel. And uh, this is the best way to use these UC cameras. Um, if some of them are 5 megapixel, they won't support a substream that will cause issues when using other software with that. Um, let's now show you how this looks like when you add it to Blue Iris. I have my machine with Blue Iris here. So now what I'm going to do is add my camera. Hit the plus sign. You can name your camera whatever you want. Just hit network. It's really easy. Press OK. And then do the find and inspect. And choose this one. I found this to be the most compatible driver, the Envif IPNC, and hit OK. It does its thing. It says done. And it finds automatically the IP address, the username, password. In this case, it's just add an admin. And then it says uh, make is generic. Here's the model and RTSP port, HTTP. All of my camera parameters are default. And this is what I suggest when you're trying to set it up for the first time before you get things too complicated and then here the path is forward slash mpeg4 and then press ok just leave everything as default press ok and you should start seeing video here and this is the same exact video if you see it's refreshing the time and if you double click on it you can get it into full screen mode exit full screen you can also see it on the UC software. So again, it says timestamp is 40 seconds, 41, 42, 43, 44. And you may see some transcoding delays here and there with the IP cameras. That's normal. But uh, this is a quick tutorial again on how to use your UC cameras with Blue Iris.